Hi, it's Darnell with The Grill. Today I'm going to be cooking up calzones in my Green Mountain Grills pizza oven attachment that I have inside of my Green Mountain Grills Daniel Boone using some Green Mountain Grills premium fruit wood pellets. And so with these calzones, I'm making up my own dough and I'm going to be cooking them at the lowest temperature that the Green Mountain Grills pizza oven attachment can go which is between 550 and 600 degrees. Make sure that they get a real nice cooking through and through. Get a real nice smoke on them too. And with that temperature, the grill is set to just 175 degrees. 175 degrees setting on the grill is the equivalent of 550 to 600 degrees in that pizza oven attachment, and we'll test that out. So we'll see how it goes with the lowest setting. This really helps conserve on pellets. Being able to cook at a slow and low temperature like 175 and get the equivalent of 550 to 600 degrees Fahrenheit is amazing. So, gonna get started on everything right now. All right, so before we make our calzone, we have to have the dough. So I'm gonna make a one and a half pound dough ball and I'll be using that for the calzones I'll be making. So real quick, gonna get it, uh, the ingredients into my bread machine. There's just one cup of warm water. There's a tablespoon of kosher salt. Always use kosher salt in your bread machine or things don't rise, right? Tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Three cups of bread flour. Just gonna make a little well in the uh, flour for my yeast. Now I'm using two teaspoons of bread machine yeast. All right, got my bread machine turned around, got it set for dough. Takes an hour, 30 minutes. Just gonna start it up and bring you back when the dough is ready. Now my dough is almost finished, so before I actually start to grill up and it starts making all its nice fun noises, I'm going to give you the weather report here. It's mostly sunny, 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Real feel is 56 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity, 64%. Wind speed is 11 miles per hour. So it's a little windy, but that'll be okay. And we're only going to be out here for a moment, so it doesn't matter that the high is going to get to 62. We'll be in and out in no time, you'll see these things cook up pretty quick although since we're cooking at 550 to 600 instead of 850 yeah maybe we'll be out here a few more minutes than usual but we'll see how that goes all right now I'm connected to my Green Mountain Grill and I'm going to just go ahead and turn it on power it up and confirm that so I've confirmed it it's gonna start uh, sending pellets and gonna start heating up I'm gonna set the temperature now to that nice low 175 and so now it's been set to that 175 temp. It'll start working to get up to 175 degrees. Once it's at that 175, I'm gonna let it set there for about 20 minutes at 175. And then I'll come out and I'll test the stone and we'll see if it's really between 550 and 600 degrees Fahrenheit. But for now, while this is getting warmed up, I'm gonna go inside and start working on those calzones. All right, so my dough is all done and ready. I'm going to make two different types of calzones from this dough. One's going to be a pepperoni calzone with mozzarella cheese. So I got my pizza sauce, pepperonis over here, and I've got some mozzarella cheese there. And I'm also going to make a chicken bacon ranch calzone. So I've got some ranch dressing here, and I've got some one chicken breast and three strips of thick slice bacon that I chopped up that are in here that I'll be using for that calzone. So first thing I'm going to get my dough out. I've also got some a uh, little bit of flour, well, the remnants of my last of this bag of flour, and some yellow cornmeal I'll be using to try and keep things non-stick. So before I even get my dough out, I've got to put down my flour and my cornmeal and such. All right, first thing I'm going to do with my dough, I'm just going to cut it. Get that kneading rod out of there from the bread machine. I'm going to just sit it here and just use this to cut it in half. All right, so I'm going to take this half and just uh, get it rolled out. Get some more dough over here. Just get this rolled out. All right, I got this spread out now. I'm just going to take my, uh, I've got two pizza peels here. One of them I have is 
metal, the other is wooden. And this one, I'm just going to use the wooden one for this one, just due to it looking like it'll fit decent for size. My wooden one's a little smaller than my large metal Green Mountain Grills official pizza peel. So what I'm going to just do here now is just get the uh, pizza sauce, some cheese and pepperonis in this uh, in this dough here to make this calzone. All right, I've got everything in there. Looks like a pizza, but we're about to fold and make a calzone. So, just fold it over like that. Try and pinch, try and pinch it a little bit on the ends. And take a fork and just try and flute things a little bit. All right, then get this one out the way. Now I'm gonna get my other piece of dough out of there. Alright, so now I've got the dough pressed out for this chicken bacon ranch calzone. And some of you may know the calzones by another name, Pizza Pocket. But whether you call it Pizza Pocket or Calzone, it's up to you. I'm going to get my ranch dressing in there, then put in my mixture of chicken and bacon. Alright, I got my uh, ranch dressing, my cheese, and my filling in there with the chicken and bacon. So, I'm going to close up this calzone, aka Pizza Pocket. Now, I forgot to actually build this one on my other pizza peel. So, I'm going to have to get it carefully onto my pizza peel. I'm going to get some flour and stuff on it now. Alright, got my flour and my cornmeal on this peel to try and see how non-stick I can make it. And just try and carefully get the calzone on the peel. A lot easier getting a calzone on the peel than a pizza when you forget to build it on the peel to begin with. But always build your food that you're putting on your uh, in your pizza oven on the peel. It's a lot easier when you do it that way. All right, now that everything is built. I'm going to just let the pizza stone continue to heat up. I usually let it heat for about 20 minutes before I put anything on. So when I bring you back, I'll test out that stone and then we'll start putting the calzones on. All right, so I tested things after it was sitting here for about 20 minutes at 175 and the pizza stone was only at about 350. So I've cranked the temperature up now to 225 on the grill, which is supposed to reach 600 to 650. And we're going to see how that works out. You see it's you know trying to heat up so it's making a lot of smoke right now as it's trying to bring the temp up. But basically the lowest temp test, you know, it didn't work out. It, when you set it to 175, this uh, pizza stone after setting for like 20 minutes was not near 500 degrees. It was like 350. So bringing it up to 225, I'll test it again and we'll see how it looks after it reaches 225 when it's supposed to be at 600, 650, maybe it'll be, you know, something closer to 500, which is what I'm looking for to start these calzones. We've tested high temp before and high temp works just fine, but low temp is not uh, necessarily accurate according to the manual for my stone and my testing. So I'll bring you back in a bit. All right, so I cranked things up and it reached 225 and it's been hovering around there for well over 20 minutes right now. The grill is at like 196. I think the pizza oven attachment, I don't know. It seems like, you know, the pizza oven attachment is just made to run hot or be used at hotter temperatures. At the lower settings, it seems like, you know, it, it's kind of iffy. But I'm gonna just check the stone's temp at this time. All right, the stone's at 486. It was at 486 when I first tested and opened up, so. Having the grill at near 200, the stones at 486, which is close to where I want. I'm going to go ahead and start putting calzones on. I'm going to put the pepperoni calzone on first. All right, here's our first calzone, the pepperoni.
really well cooked. It got kind of mashed up in there though as I moved it around, but everything is cooked. So I'm gonna go grab the chicken bacon ranch. All right, here's our chicken bacon ranch calzone now. We're gonna give this one a shot on the pizza stone. I think this is pretty decent. Let's look at this. I think that looks good. We'll take it inside. All right, so there we have our calzone. This one, you know, the one that I guess I did after my practice one, you know, was able to get it to turn out better. But, you know, with that low temp, you just gotta let it run a while and things will turn out with that uh, kind of brown crust you like. Or you can go with a lighter crust if you just cook less time. So I'm just going to cut the edge off of this one and just going to plate it. I'm just going to cut the end off of this one. You can see inside. I'm going to get the camera moved around, do a taste test. All right, so our calzones. I'll try the pepperoni calzone first. That's good. Now I'm going to try the longer cooked chicken bacon ranch calzone. Now both are very good. Both are very good in their own right. I think, you know, my flavor preference kind of trends more towards the pepperoni one though. I kind of like the pepperoni one more. Maybe the lesser cooked dough and the pepperoni pizza sauce, maybe that, you know, just reminds me more of a regular pizza and is more my preference. The chicken bacon ranch, you know, it's not overcooked. It tastes good. I guess I'm just more for the pepperoni pizza but you can cook up the type that you want. You can leave in the comment the type of calzone you'll cook up or that you'd like to cook up. And so with that, you know, you can get this and other recipes at dgrillsmoke.com. Twitter and Instagram, I want dgrillsmoke. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share the video with a friend. Leave your other comments as well. Subscribe to the channel and good eating.